how to use toggle time tracking software easy tutorial for beginners hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can use the toggle time tracking software to monitor your team's progress or your own progress and productivity so let's get into it now the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go on to toggle.com and over here you're just going to click on try for free at the top right then you can sign up via google ID ID or Apple ID or you can also sign up via email address and a password so I'm just going to continue with my Google account and I'm just going to sign up like so you can enter your email address and password if you have a different email account now once you do that they are just going to redirect you to your toggle time tracking dashboard so over here on your left you have your basic navigation panel and you have three or four basic tools you have your tracking you have analyze you have manage and then you have administration so you can see over here that first you have your basic time tracking and your time tracking timer then you have your reports and insights then you have your project so a great function of toggle time tracking is that you can add different projects and work on the timer depending on the project so you can add who your client is who your teammates are if these are billable hours or non-billable projects so you can add all of your filters and details over here and then you'll have your basic clients teams tags help and subscription and integration so if you click on integration over here you can integrate quite a few different applications you can also add the toggle track browser extension so you can manage your time and work on different project management softwares if you're using that to manage your team you can just integrate toggle time tracking onto your web extension so to get started with toggle time track the first thing i like to do is add my projects because if i'm tracking any kind of time it's usually for a specific project if it's billable hours if it's a me project so if you want to maximize your productivity you're going to begin with your project and i'm going to enter my project name let's say um I'm going to add shoe design or let's say I'm going to add email marketing and then I can add my client so we can click on add new client and enter a client's name I'm just going to add Ali and then you're going to add a template if you want but I'm going to skip that and then you can add the visibility so the visibility is if you want to add this to the entire project members or just to you so this is going to be visible to only me and now you can add your billing and estimates option so I'm going to label this as a billable project because I am working for a client and this is going to be a billable project and then I'm going to add the rate so let's say for one hour I'm going to be charging $60 so we're just going to add that and then you're just going to click on create project and now you can see over here that for one hour it is going to be $60 per hour and if I go back onto my projects over here we can change that later on by clicking on these three dots click on edit and then you can enter a new estimate and you can have a task-based estimate as well but I'm just going to continue with hourly estimates so you can also add like a lower amount so let's say if I add uh, $20 per hour or yeah $20 per hour so I'm going to add that instead and now you can see I have this simple little project added. Now on my team it's only me so if I click on clients over here I have this new client and if I click on team over here I can click on invite members and I can add people via email address onto my toggle time tracking platform. And if you have a business then managing your teammates and managing paydays and invoices using toggle time track is going to be pretty simple and easy so you can invite them as administrators or basic members so you can click on invite and then you can tell them to track the time whenever they are doing company tasks now on your reports and insights section you can take a look at your productivity and how much work you actually get accomplished within a certain amount of time so let's say if i turn on this timer and what I can do is that first off, I can just start the timer. And then if I close it, I have like an empty timer. But another thing I can do is if I click on the project or if I click on the project that I'm working on, I can add that as well. So let's say if I want to add the project, I can just click on this icon over here, select the project that I'm working on. And then I can add any tag, like uh, let's say I can create a tag called sending 
emails. So this is just to specify the kind of work you're doing. You can add that or just remove it and then you can label it as billable or non-billable. If they are billable, make sure to select this a dollar icon. If these hours are not billable, deselect the icon. Then let's start the timer over here. So you can see over here that the timer is going and going and you can see it is being built and now if i turn it off you can see over here i have this simple and easy little time tracking and i can add descriptions later on as well to the type of work that i accomplished and you can set this as billable or non-billable and if i click on the icon over here i can change this later on as well so if you forgot to set it as billable hours you can later on do that once you add your actual time tracker now if i go on to my reports now you can see over here i have weekly progress I can set it to last week. I can set it to this week. I can set it to uh, group by project, user, or client. So you can take a look at how much work you are doing for a certain client or use or how much work a user is doing. And you can also choose to show amounts and dates. So uh, the email marketing um, time track that I just did earned me 0.05 USD. So that is 70% of the work that I have accomplished in the entire week. And then you also can do rounding off estimates or non-rounding off estimates. So now if I take a look at this kind of chart, it is going to appear a lot larger once I actually add like few hours because this chart is based on hourly work, not just a few minutes or seconds. But once you have your hours added, it is going to start piling up and you're going to get a visual representation of the work that you are doing. Now, that is how simple and easy it is to navigate through Toggle Time Track and to set your billable hours and non billable hours and add team members and adding projects. So, you can add as many projects as you want, and you can add as many team members as you want, and you can add as many clients as you want, and you also have integration. So, if you want any basic integrations, you can just click on integrations over here and you can scroll down and get an integration, or you can also request to get a specific integration if you're working on a platform that is not supported by toggle track and a great part about toggle track is that it is able to um, transfer or connect your times on mobile apps as well so you can also install the mobile application to track time on your phone via toggle track and that really helps you in making the most of your time now toggle track is very simple and easy to use but it also has some limitations now you have the free version of toggle track but you can only invite up to five users on your team so if you have a larger team then you can't use the free version and on the free version you have some basic features but you don't get billable rates you don't get time rounding for reports you don't get favorite time entries so you still have some basic stuff like idle time detection automated time tracking triggers web app mobile apps and desktop apps unlimited projects clients and tags and you also have your personal desktop activity tracking but on the starter version starting at nine dollars per user per month you have your billable rates time rounding for reports pre-populated project templates and calendar time in your calendar so you can have your time tracking rounded up and entered in your calendar now on the best value which is the premium version starting at 18 dollars per user per month you have everything that is present in the starter version you also have lock time entries and add time for team members you have centralized control of labor you have time tracking audits you have saved reports via emails and you also have team time tracking reminders so you can get a lot more control over your employees in the premium version so if you are running a larger team and you're maybe in a managerial position Position where you're supposed to just manage people then opting for the premium version might be a bit easier for you and then there is also the enterprise versions for very large businesses so i think for most basic tasks and for personal user productivity the free version is more than enough and it will suffice all of your basic needs but if you want to upgrade i would suggest upgrading directly to the premium version because it has uh, more value for your money in terms of the features that it is providing so now it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video